I hear them bells when they're off. I hear them in my sleep. I hear them when I lay down. When the people that invented this came up with that song, I heard that they started singing, we're gonna get some ice cream or something like that. I don't really know the words to it. My name is Victor and I drive an ice cream truck. I was born in the Bronx and I grew up in Astoria, Queens since I was three. I work Brooklyn and Greenpoint. I've been doing this for five seasons already. Seven days a week, you got no summer, no barbecues, no nothing. You give up everything to push this ice cream truck. I get 25% of what I sell. So if I sell 800 and in one day I stay with 200, it's not like that every day. Monday to Friday you get about 500, 400. Monday to Friday is, is different than the weekends. You know, I travel a lot through the neighborhood between Pulaski Bridge and Manhattan Bridge and I go up through the blocks, through the blocks. The weekends we got seminars, we got concerts, and we got uh, street fairs. So we'll sit there for five, six hours and then we'll continue our route during the night. But my downtime when I'm sitting around, there's nothing to do. I got my TV in there, I watch some TV. I got a little bit of weights in there, I might work out, I haven't done it in a couple of weeks, I got lazy. I'm technically getting Mr. Softy truck, but they paid in my truck last year because uh, Mr. Softy wants 30 grand now. They used to charge 15 grand. My best selling flavor is the Crunchy Crash, the Twist Cone, Spongebob's, Snow Cone, Snow Cones we're out of for the last three weeks. Those are the hot commodities. You bring a smile to these kids' faces and it's a great feeling. You got crying kids, I make them stop crying, and this is a cut to those job. The competition, you got trucks coming out in our routes and they try to, like the guy around the corner now, he's only here on the weekend. And he's fighting me for that spot when I work this route seven days a week. By 3.30, I go put up next to him, he'll probably beef with me, you know, start fighting with me, I just ignore them. Sunday and tomorrow, I'll probably come early just to take over his spot, because that's what he does to me. Which he'll probably come and find a spot somewhere in front of me, because he thinks that that's his park for some reason, and it's not. It's a city park, they'll touch you. State park, they don't care. And my chocolate blew on me when it's hot days, it just, the generator gets hot, it starts to cook, your pumps start to blow, and there's no way you, I mean, it's impossible. You have ice cream all over the floor. I was on uh, Greenpoint Avenue by the water, and I just seen this strange man walking in the middle of the street out of nowhere, and I was like, who's this? And as the, he got close and closer, it was Bill Murray, I couldn't believe it. And he ordered a cherry dip, I gave it to him for free, and I took a picture with him, it was great. I have regular customers, they won't buy for nobody else but me. Some don't like me, because of the bells. <laughs> I only use my bells when I drive. When I stop, I let them finish playing out, and then you got guys coming up to me telling them to turn my music off. Or, oh, you know, we don't want you over here. My truck is an eyesore. I'm polluting the neighborhood with my generator. That's the stuff that I hear from them every day. So this is my last season. I'm, it's too much problem. I see myself in five years. If I'm not, if I'm not dead, which I'm not that lucky, uh, I'm probably thinking of going with Uber, or I'm thinking of doing something else. Something self-employed, I know that. I don't want to work for nobody no more. I'm hoping I make some money today, that's about it. It's a nice day, Saturday. Hey guys, I'm Nell Casey, the food editor at Gothamist. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more delectable videos, and let us know in the comments where in New York City you'd like to see us film next. I'll catch you all on the flip side.